training migrants into getting jobs in Europe. That's the aim of a new pilot project by the International Organization of Migration called Skills to Work. It's hoped it'll bridge the gap between the working population and ageing community within the EU. The Netherlands is one of the nine member states taking part since 2016. John is a refugee from Syria who was a sales manager and now a cook in Amsterdam. I'm so glad to pay taxes because Thanks to God, I'm, uh, I'm only under, I was under the outcaring only for seven months, so it's not too much. So the money, I took it from the other people, the one who paid taxes, now I'm paying back, you know, and I'm paying also for the other people, so to having also the outcaring to support them. I start feeling that uh, this is my country and this is my people, you know, and uh, my colleagues here, uh, they are so nice. And uh, they make me feel that I'm, um, I'm home. John took part in the programme which matches thousands of people and local authorities, NGOs and human resource companies. Learning the language is the main challenge. He is one of around 300 refugees which Manpower has helped. Exactly. Yeah. Each individual is different. We do not have just one training for all the refugees, but um, in, in some cases we work together with municipalities and we give training about how to find work, how, how does work work <laughs> in the Netherlands, um, that you have to write a CV, that uh, how, does it, how do you deal with your colleagues. Our reporter Isabel Marcus de Silva says There is much talk about legal and safe ways to bring migrants and refugees to Europe. One of them could be the expansion of the blue card work permit created in 2009. But the revision of this directive has been blocked for months. The revision was started by the Commission and Parliament wants to expand the blue card to refugees and make it more flexible, namely the length of time for a contract, the professional experience and qualifications and the length of time they can hold a blue card and reside in any EU country. But the Member States have blocked the process since last December, with the European Parliament Committee criticising their lack of political willingness. We expect that we can go all over the world and we can decide what we take from the rest of the world, but we don't even want managed migration. Um, and I think that's an issue. Um, and it was reflected in this simple revision of a, of a blue card, which was used quite a lot by countries like Germany. But now with the toxic debate, um, it has been rejected. When the Member States finally agree, more people like John can have access to the European labour market.